So this is an introduction and a series of videos explaining how you use a scorebook and score a cricket match. This is the uh, scorebook that I use. Um, readily available online if you look them up. There are different variations, they all suit the same purpose, they all work quite well. They vary slightly but um, not, not a great deal, they've basically got the same sections. Uh, when I'm practicing I use this version. Uh, there will be a link to this in the description. You can download a, a version from my Google files. Uh, the book version, copied out, photocopied, sometimes I use this, but the one I'm going to use for most of these demonstrations is this version here. There's several sections. The batter's details here, which is one of the most common, commonly used parts as you're scoring. Cumulative details here, which is the second bit, and the bowler's details here. There's several other sections at the end of each over. You score the details here, so you record the wickets, the bowler, and the current score at the end of the over. If a wicket goes down, you put the score there and the batsman's number. These are the batsman's numbers here, and then any extras, so it's wides buys, leg buys, no balls, they go in here. Um, and then at the end of the game, you add all the scores up here, add from that to that, you check against all the bowling details, make sure they all add up and that they all tally, but that will be explained in a later vid video. But that's basically your score books and the types of score sheets you're looking at. It all, they all look pretty similar to that. Slight variations, but pretty much the same.